Before we proceed, let us reconsider why God accepted Abel's offering and rejected Cain's. Although the Bible doesn't explicitly explain why, it's often understood that Abel's sacrifice was made in faith and genuine sincerity, while Cain's offering lacked the same level of sincerity and obedience. It was not about the content of the offering, but the intention of the giver. Unable to understand this, Cain grew bitter towards God's judgment. Frustrated and unable to reach God, he vented his anger by attacking and ultimately killing Abel, God's favorite, who had done nothing wrong. Cain's actions stemmed from jealousy and resentment towards God's righteous judgment. As expected, God confronted Cain for his terrible deed, as described in the Bible. God inquired about Abel's whereabouts, to which Cain famously replied, Am I my brother's keeper? He found it convenient to deny his responsibility to his brother. Nevertheless, God proceeded to pronounce his punishment upon Cain. He declared that Cain would be cursed due to his actions. The land would no longer yield crops for him, rendering his farming endeavors useless. In an agrarian society, this was a severe penalty as it meant he would struggle to provide for himself. Additionally, Cain was sentenced to a life of perpetual wandering on the earth. He would lack a stable home or a sense of belonging, leading a nomadic and uncertain life. Now, we get to the point of this video. In Genesis chapter 4,